Items that you're gonna need for a static cling wet application are a microfiber cloth, isopropyl alcohol. You don't have to necessarily use this, but the point is you wanna have the window clean before you install. A water bottle that has a couple drops of your regular dishwasher detergent. That's gonna give it some slipperiness so that you can position the graphics correctly. If you need a backing cutter, scissors also work. I don't think we're gonna need them for this particular application because we're just gonna peel the entire backer and apply the graphic at once and then a squeegee to squeegee out the water from behind the graphic once applied to the window. So when you're making your water adjust, your, your water mixture, you're gonna have essentially three squirts of any kind of soap and then fill it up with water. The key is to uh, essentially, when you're able to shake up the water and you see that there's bubbles in it, uh, obviously you don't want too much soap because the if it's too, too soapy, you're gonna get a rainbow effect uh, between the graphics and the window. So just a couple squirts of soap in a full water container, squirt bottle, any squirt bottle should do, as long as you rinse it out, make sure there's no um, other chemicals in it. So it's just essentially water with a few drops of soap. And when you shake it up, it'll, it'll, you'll be able to see some, that there's some bubbles inside there. That's just gonna be able to allow you to reposition the graphics on the window before you squeegee the water. First, we're going to clean the surface really good. Make sure there's no residue, no grime, no, Essentially, the cleaner the window is, the, the better the static cling is going to be uh, to that surface. We're using a microfiber cloth here. Um, newspapers also work for a nice no streak surface. Um, but in essentially, just, just getting the window clean with whatever you can. Paper towels, a regular towel. Uh, this is isopropyl alcohol. If you're going to not use isopropyl alcohol, I recommend a non-abrasive foam window cleaner. Windex was probably fine, just as long as the window surface is clean prior to installation. Oh. All right, first we're gonna get the window nice and wet, saturated uh, evenly, especially around the edges. You want this soap and water mixture to give you a plane to, to glide the graphics around so that you can get a position just right. It helps to have two people, just because when you're gonna peel the graphics back, you want somebody with larger format graphics to be able to help you remove the backer. We're gonna remove the entire backer at once. We're gonna grab the sheet size. Here, grab that up there. And we're gonna get this entire side wet as well. And this is gonna go up on the window. Once you get it positioned right where you want it, the great thing about it being wet is you can move this around a little bit. You can start to squeegee that out. And when you squeegee the water out, it's gonna create a nice bond statically with the window so that when the water's all out, you have a nice good surface that it's, that it's bonding to with that static clean material. Now this is the static clean material that we're using and that's typically the way we would install this. I wouldn't do a dry application with this because you'll, you'll never get the bubbles all out. And it just makes it easier to position the, the graphics where you want them to because if they're not wet, they won't stick and create bubbles and you won't be able to reposition it. So, AJ squeegeeing all those out. And a lot of times it may even help to put some water on the backside here just so the squeegee will glide smoothly across the surface and help you to get that those bubbles out on this side. Now this, this is approximately a four foot by three foot graphic and we installed this in roughly five minutes. So someone that knows what they're doing and has the right tools and the right video to show them how to do it correctly will take them very minimal time to install it. Now let's go take a look on the outside. what it looks like on the outside. So now you have a window static cling installed from the inside window, visible from the outside.